Hello to all, I'm Michael Finkley. Thank you so much for watching this exclusive interview, the class of 2020. Senior year is supposed to be a time of celebrating 12 years of achieving their studies by way of signature events, prom, senior trip, and also importantly, graduation. But during this time of the pandemic, a lot of seniors will not experience any of these signature events. Take a look. Ed.gov states 3.7 million high school students are scheduled to graduate within the 2019-2020 academic year. As colleges are still heavily recruiting these students, institutions of higher learning have extended deadlines and waived test scores, according to USA Today. Before college, high school students still want to experience events like graduation. There is even a petition wanting President Barack Obama to deliver a national speech for the 2020 graduation class. What do you think? During my professional career, I was able to be employed as a college and career counselor at Manning High School in Manning, South Carolina. I met a whole group of awesome students and they are now seniors being affected by this pandemic. I was able to talk to two of them and they share their experience with me. Take a look. Thank you so much for joining us on today. Um, so we have some awesome students here from the class of 2020 and it is very, very much so um, a pleasure to interview them because these are my babies. Um, back in 2016 and 2018, I was a college and career counselor at Maine High School, and these students were actually freshmen, and now they are graduating seniors, and they're going to just talk about their experiences through this entire coronavirus pandemic and how is it affecting them. So I'm going to let them introduce, your, introduce themselves to you, starting with Autumn. Hi hey you guys, my name is Autumn Washington Gross, and I am a senior at Manning High School. Hi everyone, my name is Jefferson Bennett and I'm also a senior at Manning High School. Awesome, Autumn, Jeff, thank you so much for coming to um, the Michael Finkley Show and just sharing your experiences. Um, Jeff, what was life before, what was life like before the pandemic for you? So before, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> so before the pandemic, um, it was pretty, no well, normal compared to now. Um, half of my classes were online, so um, the jump from half online to fully online was still a pretty big jump. Um, and being home 24 seven, you know, you'd think it wouldn't affect me too much because like I had already experienced online life, but being at home and online 24 seven, it was, it was a big jump and it was just a hectic change. <laughs> gotcha. What about you, Autumn? Um, for me, it's the same like Jeff. I had one class in person at the high school that I had one class online. And like he said, being home 24 seven is really different because home is where you relax and do what you want to do. But now I have to do schoolwork as well as enjoy myself at home at the same time. Okay. And what's life like now, Autumn? What does it look, look like for you now? Um, honestly, it's kind of boring, like really boring. All I do is go to sleep, wake up, you know, eat, do classwork, get on the phone, and then repeat. Like, we don't go nowhere because, you know, everything's closed. And I don't want to risk myself, you know, getting the coronavirus, trying to go to the store or something like that. Can you relate, Jeff? Um, yeah, so a lot like Autumn said, um, we're at home where we're, like, comfortable and, like, we could literally just sleep all day or do nothing all day. So we gotta, you got to force yourself to get up and do whatever you got to push yourself or you're just going to get sidetracked. <laughs> Mm, I, I definitely understand. So you all, you both mentioned that you are taking online classes and and um, dual enrollment classes. So you're taking advantage of the college setting already, and they will assist within your cost of attendance. They will assist with credit hours when you get to college. So do you think that that prepared you for this, Jeff? Um, I do feel like it prepared me for this because. Um, the school that we work with, um, their classes are optimized, so it can be, if it need, if need be, they can go online. Like, I would think, especially, okay, I have a public speaking class, 
and the whole point in public speaking is you know speaking in front of an audience face to face um but that was probably one of the easiest transitions from face to face to online is because they do it so like often they do it so well so all their classes are kind of optimized for both settings gotcha autumn um for me it's kind of the same way because you know i kind of have a little experience with taking classes online but also having college classes and also high school classes they use two different formats so that i have to understand one website compared to the other website two different things okay awesome and I know that you both are doing very well within these classes as well. So kudos to you all. Um, so what does it look like for your family? Are you all getting closer to your family during this time? What are you learning about each other, Autumn? Um, well, I wouldn't say closer, cause I mean, I'm really, I am close with all of my family, but my mom still works. And so it's like, she's, well, basically kind of always at work and I'm home, like doing what I have to do, my part. And she's at home, I'm not home. She's at work doing what she got to do because she has patience and she can't just let them go. So, you know, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like everyday life kind of, but it's just different for me because I stay home all the time now. Right. How do you keep yourself entertained though? Um, TikTok, Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, video chats, phone calls, you know, I don't know, cooking, well, just whatever. I got you. Jeff, knowing you, I know that you're an introvert. So are you mm -hmm. loving this new lifestyle? Honestly, yeah, because as an introvert, like anything that I would possibly need is already here, like where I need it to be. So I can be entertained at all times, like at home, honestly. I just have to try to keep myself like sane and keep myself on track and doing work actually, because I'll just forget homework and you know just have live my best life honestly. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, how, how are you coping with the deal of not seeing your friends on a daily basis, Jeff? Um, I feel like through text and like Autumn said, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, all of that. Um, we don't physically see them, but we know, um, like we can check up on them, and it honestly it reassures you who your like real friends are because mm -hmm. everyone's at home. So if you text someone and they don't reply within the first couple of minutes, you know, they're just ignoring you because everyone has free time. So <laughs> right. yeah. What about you, Autumn? Um, well, you know, I miss my friends. You know, I'm a people's person. So I love being around people, talking to people, interacting. So it's kind of different from seeing them every day at school, as well as like, spending time with each other after school and in our after school activities to being on the phone like through a screen so it's just like it's different but you know it's it's okay because i still get to talk to them and see them mm -hmm. okay gotcha and i see that you're all coping with that very well jeff no prom no senior trip what are your thoughts yeah it 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 sucks not gonna lie um i feel like every every senior honestly has like a timeline for how they expect their senior to go and this is nowhere near how we expected ours to go but at the very least i just hope that we have a graduation ceremony even if we don't get prom whatever whatever as long as it's not completely canceled as long as we have it even if it's pushed back to next school year you know i i just want a graduation <laughs> at the least. I get you. I, I get you. Autumn? Mm -hmm. I totally agree with what Jeff said because, you know, everybody wants that last school year of experience. You know, senior year, that's the big year. We finally made it. But, you know, this is a little bump, well, a big bump in the road because, you know, we haven't been in school for a while now. But, you know, everything will turn out right, hopefully. You know, like Jeff said, hopefully they'll push our graduation back instead of canceling it all the way through. Because, you know, I want to walk through that stage. I didn't do all this work for nothing. Mm -hmm. I get you. I get you. And your, your hard work after 12 years of school will be rewarded. Mm -hmm. so keep the hope alive. Keep hope alive. Jeff, life after high school, what are your plans? Where are you, where are you applying? And what do you want to do with the rest of your life? Okay, I don't want to go all the way down the list, but the top three colleges that I was considering are Coastal, which is my number one, which is where I'm pretty much planning on going, um, College of Charleston, and UCLA, but they waitlisted me, so I'm not going to 
we don't discuss them. Um, but I'm thinking about majoring in graphic design um, and doing something in animation, and then later on going um, to, for my master's or going for my higher degree in like something in the animation. And I was hoping to be going somewhere near like California, LA, because that's where all the animation stuff is. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I might not be on good terms with um, UCLA then either. So. But we'll see. You no, know, <laughs> you never know because millions of people are going to watch this, Jeff. You never know who's watching. <laughs> um, um, love you, UCLA. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a top four. My top is Whitfield University. Then I have USC, Upstate, then Presbyterian College, and then USC Aiken. Okay. And, yeah, what do you and I plan on majoring in psychology. And as in future plans, um, I was thinking about, I want to work with kids, but you know, kids are hard to open up to you. So I don't really know, but I have time to think about that. So I'm going to just like wait and see what the future holds. I gotcha. Definitely understand. And in the process of growing educationally and in other aspects of your life, during this time, what have, what have you learned about yourself, Jeff? What I've learned about myself, I would say is how how much more I wouldn't say hardworking, but how much more dedicated I am. Because when I if I were to like picture myself or say describe myself in three words, I would say procrastinating, um, you know, lazy, like whatever. But um I found out that I'm kind of like dedicated. Like I want like my I physically can't allow myself to go to sleep or enjoy something without like that assignment that I was due like at the, that, that's doing like five minutes or something. I yeah. physically can't go and do anything else without having that constantly running through my brain. So my my body is like, it reacts a bit better to things than I think it does, so. <laughs> what about you, Autumn? Um, for me, I really learned that I really don't have a life outside of school. <laughs> and now that school is closed, as well as churches, is like, you know, all I do is I do activities at the school all day long. Like, you know, it's band, student council, Diamond Girls, cheerleading, all of that. Now it's now sports are done. You know, schools are closed. And now churches are closed. And I go to church all the time. So, like, you know, I have nowhere to go. I have nothing to do. So, you know, I don't really know. I got to find something to do. Oh, I got you. And you will. You're smart and sociable. You will. I have faith in you. <laughs> Um, so what piece of advice, Jeff, would you give to the collective class of 2020 around the world? Okay, so to class 2020, I would say, guys, they're trying to take our year from us, but don't let them. <laughs> the graduation is the finish line, and no matter how far they push it back, um, we're still going to make it to the finish line. We just got to keep running. We still got to keep pushing through. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. Autumn? Um, class of 2020, we are almost there, you know, the finish line is kind of a little blurry, but we're going to make it, we're going to push through, everything's going to happen for a reason, and the outcome is going to be amazing, so keep the faith. I love it, I love it, keep pushing through, keep the faith, words to live by. Thank you so much, Autumn and Jeff, for being on our show today, and I wish you nothing but success in the future, and just know that we got your back. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching this exclusive interview with the class of 2020. I do hope that our seniors are encouraged by this. Just remember that you're not alone and you will get through this. Congratulations on all of your achievements and your future success from the Michael Finkley Show.